Marley Bird YouTube channel. I'm Marley Bird. I'm Marley's mom. We're here to teach you how to knit. Actually, I'm here to teach her how to knit. To how to and knit. today it's all about mistakes. I've had a few, huh? <laughs> More than a few, all weekend. If you've been following along the series, you know that there's a video for learning how to knit, a video for learning how to purl, plus a whole lot more. And now it's time to learn how to fix mistakes. So mom has so generously <laughs> decided to do some garter stitch in her stockinette, and we're going to learn to fix it. So let's jump in and take a look at what she has. I can't believe I did that. It's okay. So down here, you can see that mom did some really great stockinette, and she was doing two row striping, and then up here, for some reason, she decided she was going to do some garter stitch. <laughs> I she don't know why. Herself. So, I'm going to change this up a little bit. Let's change it up. So she got to the end of her purple and she was like, well, gosh darn it, I did it again because I told her to keep going. I was like, oh, we could fix that later on camera. And so she did it twice. So you know what? If you've done it twice, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I got to show you how to fix that. Stop what you're doing. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is that we are going to unknit these stitches. So we are going to put these this needle back in our right hand, we're going to put our empty needle in our left hand, and we're going to unknit these stitches. Now I'm gonna do a couple to show you first, if that's all right, all right? Yeah. Sorry, you gotta scooch a little bit. Sure. A little bit. Sure. So I'm gonna pick this up, and I'm going to put it back in my right hand. So it's like I just finished my row, okay? Right. And I'm like, I was, you know, I, I realized something was goofy, so I put it back in this hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, with my right hand, grab my yarn that I was working with. Not my right hand. That's this is my left, left I hand. I was like, that's your left Yeah, hand. I meant my left. You knew what I meant. You knew what I meant. Your other, your other. Do, do yeah. as I do, not as I say. So I'm, I'm holding it in my left hand. And that's regardless of if you hold it over here or the left, just hold it over here just for right now. And what I'm doing is, you notice when I pull that yarn, see how it really kind of, and I'm using my right hand to pull down. Mm -hmm. See how it stretches out the stitch from the row below? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the stitch that used to be on this needle. When we jumped right. off the porch, that's right. the stitch that jumped off the porch. <laughs> right? That's okay. The, it's the rogue stitch. So I want the, that stitch to go back on the porch. So I'm going to take my left hand needle and I'm going to stick it into that stitch. I'm stabbing it. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let the new stitch that we had created now jump off my right hand needle and pull it out and now it's removed. So watch this again, let's think of it this way. The stitch that's on my right hand needle is the daughter of that stitch that was on my left hand needle that jumped off the porch. So that's the mother, okay? So I'm gonna take my left hand needle, I'm gonna stick it into the mother and let the daughter drop off. When I pull my yarn out, my stitch is back over on my left hand needle. The whole time I'm keeping tension with this yarn over here and I'm pulling the stitches down with my right hand just to really stretch out that mother stitch so that I can find it. So I'm stretching it, I take my left hand needle, stick it in the mother, drop the daughter off. And you'll have to adjust as you go along because you're getting more and more slack, right? Because every time you undo a daughter, you're getting more slack. Now the reason I want you to hold the yarn in your left hand is because I like how when I hold it over there, it stretches the stitch sideways. Right. See how it really opens it up? Right, yeah. So I'm gonna take my left hand needle, stick it into the mother, let the daughter fall off. You can do this down an entire row, or you can just do it a couple stitches. Say you were working along and you realize just a few stitches in that you messed up. You can, this is called tinking, unknitting. You can unknit those stitches back to the one you made the mistake on. Because right now, we were knitting, right? We wanted those to purl. We could say, okay, so I've tinked back where I needed to go, and I could carry on purling. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I want you to do this whole row because you um, chose to do a different stitch pattern this whole row. Notice I didn't say made a mistake. <laughs> you chose to do something different, but I don't want you to do something different, okay? So I'm gonna let you do this now. You're going to Ooh, extend nervous. the stitch. Extend the stitch. So it's important, stitch. you wanna go into the mother. Wait a minute. The mother's over here. So how did you get that down there again? How so I you... used this hand to really pull my oh, fabric. Pull. Oh gosh, I've got short fingers again. It's all right. <laughs> it's like, I want my teeth. I grab the rubber <laughs> my teeth and I'll 
Oh my gosh. Okay. And you go into, into the mother. The Good job. Off the I daughter. Pull the daughter. Yep. Off. There you go. Now what I will do is I will move that to the Keep back to the just back. so that I can now you're in the you're in the daughter. Oh. There you okay. go. Yeah. And you'll know quickly because you'll tell me. You no, know, well no, because <laughs> your working yarn, when you undo it, see how it's still attached to the right hand needle? Mm -hmm. Because it's still attached to the next daughter. Okay? What's really great about doing this with stripes is you know the mother is purple just like the daughter. If you were to accidentally go into the grandmother, you would have green. a green on your needle. I'm going to have you scoot up a little bit so they can see you. It's okay, this is called unknitting. Yeah. Go into the mother. I'm trying to find. So I really stretch out that to open it up. There you go into the mother and let the daughter drop off. Perfect. Into the mother and drop off. Now I didn't say this at the beginning, you're doing really great because you're doing exactly what I showed you, but I want to make sure you continue when you go to stab into the mother, you're not coming back from this direction, you're going, you're just stabbing directly into it. And that's even if it was a knit or a purl, always go into it just like this. There you go. Yep. Perfect. The reason I want you to go into it that manner is it's putting the stitches back on your left hand needle in the same orientation they need to be. Now hold on a minute. This yeah. one's a little bit tricky, right? Because it's the last right stitch. There, right? Exactly. So you let the daughter fall off, pull it, Now you extended that one up. Can you see that? Jeez. Yeah. So it's all right. You just. That's what I'm there famous it is. for right there. Mm-hmm. That's why I keep adding stitches. Right. So guess what? You get to do this again because when we turn our work, we have to we have to undo all those too. Okay, so we're going to undo them again. That's and now cute. we're going to tink. So you're going to do it once okay, again. So I'm going into the green one actually. Exactly, because now the green one is the mother of the purple that's on your needle. Okay. Does this make sense, you guys? This is really something really easy. And if you want more instructions on this than what we're doing right here, I have an entire video just dedicated to tinking your work. You can find that right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. I will put a link to that down in the video notes below. And I will also add a card right there on the top of the screen. You can get to that video. Well, you really feel like you're all thumbs. You but you know what? It's easier sometimes to just tink back a couple stitches than to pull your needles out and try and readjust. Now, hold on. You need to go in. Exactly. But look where your yarn is. It's yeah. easier if you have it in the back. There you go. Did you guys see what mom just did? She tried to come in at the stitch the other direction. There you go. That's what we want. Stab into it. Stab into it. Perfect. Yep. Just like that. What's going to be great here in just a second, we're going to talk about why she wants to stab into the stitch going this direction and what it means by the orientation of the stitch on your needles. So I'm going to have her finish this row and I'm going to have her tink the next row as well because it was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> and I am an overachiever. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're just making me giggle. <laughs> So she's going to tink the next row and then we're going to jump to the next section where I'm actually going to have her um, fix stitches by pulling out her needles. So go ahead and do what you need to do and I'm going to have her finish and we will jump ahead. There you go. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> How'd you guys do? Did you tink all the way back all of your work too? Here's the thing. If you have perfect knitting, congratulations. You could still tink your perfect knitting. It doesn't have to be incorrect. You tink your perfect. You tink really your perfect. Not. You tink. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. You tink your perfect, but oh, you're not. <laughs> oh, see, there's that. It's almost like a. Okay, a so it's going to be green because it's, it's a green row. You were stabbing in with the mother. And so it's just that it's the last stitch, so it looks goofy. Is it that one? I think so. That would be my guess. Yeah, there you go. Now, there you are again, trying to pull up that last bit. There you are. That looks good. Well, that yeah, looks good. You got rid of all the garbage. Right. right <laughs> but, hey, you didn't throw it across the room. You actually fixed it. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's true. Yeah. Okay. That's true. So like I said to you guys, one good thing about tinking is it's great to do if you've got to go back a couple stitches or maybe just a couple rows. But if you've messed up something several rows down, sometimes it's easier just to pull out your needles and rip it out. The scary part about that is 
What if when you're putting your needle back in, the stitches aren't laying on your needle correct? Maybe you drop a couple stitches, you know, what happens? So we're gonna learn how to do that right now. I'm actually gonna have my mom pull out her needles and I'm gonna have her rip out a couple rows. And when she goes to put her new needles in, I'm gonna have her switch to circular needles because it's a good time for her to start practicing with these. She's gonna knit just like normal, but she's gonna start using some circular needles um, instead of straight needles. These are also going to be a little bit more slick for her, so they're gonna be a little bit easier for her to slide her stitches. I feel like now it's time to start being able to slide the stitches. One the deep end of the pool? No, this is, <laughs> this is where things start to get really fun. One thing I want to point out is if you get some brand new circular needles and the cord is really coiled up, you could always heat up some hot water and uh, you know be careful because it's hot water, but you take the cord and just let it rest in the hot water for a little bit and get a towel. When you take it out, take the towel and just go right along the cord and it will straighten them out. Okay, just a little, little tidbit, little note if you want a little help with that. Um, but these are just size nine, 24 inch circulars. That's what I'm having her switch to. And so here, here we go, mom, you ready? No. Okay. I'll I'll just pull this out. Yeah, you know how to do this. You've done this yeah, before. Yeah, but remember I didn't watch it then. I'm not going to watch All it right. now. <laughs> so now I'm just going to have you rip out a couple rows. Let's rip out that one and let's rip out the next purple row. And now I'm going to have you stop right there. Okay. So what we have now, if we can show it on the camera, you have a row of purple loops that are just kind of hanging out there and a row of green, right? right. So the first way I want you to, to see how to do this is given that we have two colors, it's really convenient because we can say, okay, I'm down to where I'm ready to rip out and get to where my next color will be the green loops sticking up. So I'm going to have you take your new needle and I'm going to have you take out one stitch at a time at a purple and what will happen is the exposed stitch will be the green and that's the one you're going to put on your needle. Another way to think of it is the exposed stitch is the mother of these daughters and we're going to stick it right on our needle. Now pause before you start. One thing I want to point out to you guys is you want to make sure that when you are putting stitches back on your needle, you want the tip of your needle always going towards where your yarn is going to end up because you don't want everything on your needle and then your working yarn is down here at this end, right? That's no good. So you want to make sure your working yarn is going to end up at the tip of your needle. One thing that's convenient about circulars, it really doesn't matter because she could slide the work to either end as she needs it to be there, okay? so. Do you understand what I mean about mm -hmm. picking it up? Okay, so let's show everybody how to do that. I know you oh, can. Sure. Okay. Let me do that. Let me show you how to do this. So you said we're pulling out the purple. One at a time. One yep. at a time. And we're picking up the... The green. The green. So... There you go. Pull it yep. up with my hand. Yep. And just stick it on there. The green. Right now, I really don't care the orientation of the stitch, meaning you're going to be like, Marley, do I stick it in the front? Do I stick it in the back? You know, which way do I put it on my needle? I don't really care at this point. I just want you to get it on your needle so it doesn't drop down and, and fall away, right? Once it's on your needles and it's in a safe place, we can fix the stitch. And when I mean orientation of the stitch, we're going to talk about that here in just a second. So don't get frustrated. So we're, that's different. What do you mean? The front and back of a stitch. Well, the way the stitch Top straddles the needle, that's okay. You drop two rows. That's all right. Just put that on your needle. Put that one? Yep. Stick it on your needle. You see what mom did, guys? Oh. So she accidentally dropped an extra row. Totally fine. We can fix that. But, but the next row is... And I can... I, it's all right. I'll help you. I can help you with... We can fix that. So the biggest thing is you just want to stop it from going anywhere. So we just want to get it on our needle. Okay. Woo! You did it. So they're safe again, right? We only had one casualty. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, so let's put this down and let's take a look. As you set this down, we ripped out to where we're down to where we have this row and we have one stitch casualty where we went down to the grandmother instead of the mother. And we know that too because there it is right there. When that stitch right there fell out, it became just a ladder, all right? It's okay, we can fix that. But when I mean stitch orientation, what that means is, as your stitches are on your needle, they are either laying like this or like this, okay? So, I'm gonna set this down. It's resting on its needle like this, right? I gotta, how am I gonna do this? So here's my needle and it's resting on the needle. This is really difficult to show on camera. How do I do this? 
just like that, I think. Yeah, but you have to know one way oh. or the other. That's why you're the teacher. <laughs> I know, but I've never done it on film before, so oh. I'm having a hard time. So as it's straddling, here, let me do it this way. Okay, so here, if it were on the needle completely, it would just be straight down. It's either tilted this way or it's tilted this way, okay? This way towards the needle. That's where we plural. No, no, no. Hold on a minute. Oh. So as your stitch rests on your on your needle, mm -hmm. the front leg, which in this case would be over here because my tip is here, mm -hmm. the front leg should be pointing towards the needle. If it's pointing back from the needle and we go to knit it, it wants to twist on itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you wrap your yarn the wrong direction when you knit or purl, it places that stitch on your needle the wrong way. Same, so those of you out there who have been purling, you're like, why does one row of my stockinette look like the, the bottom legs of the stitch are twisted, like they're like crossing their legs? It's because you've twisted the stitch on accident, okay? You have not done that. You've oh, done a really good right. job. No. <laughs> I was just, I was like, oh man, I probably did that too. No, you did it. You've, you've been totally doing it right. But the important thing is, if we can recognize that the stitch is not sitting on your needle correctly as you come to it, it's an easy fix, okay? So here, I'm going to pick up your work and we're gonna look at these stitches. And I can see here on the first one, you see how, let me move some of the strings so that people can see a little bit easier. You see how this stitch, as it's sitting there, see how this back leg right there it looks like it wants to jump forward. It looks like it's walking. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's incorrect. Because as I go to knit this, see how it wants it's to gonna, fight me? Right, okay. Right. Because the one that is forward, that's the one that wants to be knit. Well, when we're knitting, we want this stitch, right? But this one is the one that wants to be knit. And that's okay, mom. So I picked it up wrong. No, no. You, you picked it up. Now we get to correct them. That's, it really doesn't matter. You, we just wanted to pick them up so that they were on here. So you can't pick them up the right way. You totally can, but then you run the risk of oh. dropping the stitches around it because you're fiddling oh, with it. Okay. okay. So okay. it's better to get it on your needle first and, and then, then fix it. Because it. it's easy, because here's the deal. That back leg wants to be knit right now, mm -hmm. so let's knit it. We're just gonna go into the back leg and we're gonna knit it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna place it correctly now, and now that stitch is correct. See how that one? See how the back Same leg? Thing. Yep. So we could take it off, turn it around, and put it back on to let it be perfect. See how that looks mm -hmm. perfect now? Mm -hmm. So we could just knit that like normal. So you can take it off, twist it, and put it back on. Mm -hmm. Or see how that one, the back leg? Yeah. Don't be, I mean, it's just natural. It happens. And this is easy. We just knit it through the back leg. Okay? This one? we would knit it through the back leg. Or you can take it off and turn it. You know why I don't do that? Mm -hmm. You know how I knit at church? God doesn't like it when you get mad at your stitches because they drop off because you're trying to fix them. So I found that if I just knit it through my back leg instead of trying to take it off, turn it, and put it back on, I'm a happier person. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I probably I don't make all, mistakes. Yeah. yeah. So this one, is that backwards or forwards? That's correct. That's it? correct. Mm -hmm. Because this front leg, it's like it's walking forward. It wants mm -hmm. to be knit. Mm -hmm. So I would knit it through the front leg. This one here. Is it forward? It's forward. Yeah. It wants to be knit. Yeah. So I go ahead and knit it. And this is the same thing. If we were purling, we could do the same thing. We would just purl it through the back leg. Okay? I know. It's tricky. But it's possible. Now this one here. What do you think? I split the yarn a little bit. So I'm going to put that back on. I think that That's is correct. Yeah, yep. well, I was going to say actually it's backwards. No, nope. I would have been wrong. It's correct. That's correct. That's correct. So is that one. Now, what do we have here? Well, I've got I've got some split yarn there. All right. So you split the yarn from the row below. So what I'm going to do, it's okay. I'm going to take the stitch that's not messed up. I'm just going to slip it off just to get rid of that one. I'm just going to let that fall down there because it's not I'm not losing a stitch or anything it's just it fuzzed out on us a little Loose. bit but I don't want to knit it as an extra stitch so I'm just gonna let it get just go away now now I'm just looking at this stitch it's good and knit it yeah now here's this one that's a backwards that one. is so what I'm gonna do what am I gonna do knit through the back leg. yeah so instead of going like that I'm gonna go just like this and knit it and this one's hard to see because it's the very first one 
Is it backwards? It looks like it's okay to me. It looks like it's okay to me too. A test, you'll just, you just saw me just kind of go like this. Mm -hmm. I always test to see if it's fighting me. If it's not fighting me, I think it's okay. All right, now, I did not fix our drop stitch yet. Oh yeah. I'm not fixing it yet. I don't even see it anymore. Well, see how that Is stitch- the third one in? Yeah, see mm -hmm. how it looks really elongated? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna fix that here in a minute. Okay. What I want you to do, I want you to purl all the way back with our purple, and when we come back, oh no, never mind. I used green, I should've used purple. Oh. I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want you to go ahead, we're gonna purl all the way back with your green. Okay. And then when we're gonna pick up the purple and we're gonna knit, 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 and then we're gonna drop down and we're gonna fix that mistake. You're it's really easy. No, you're gonna fix I'm it. Gonna fix you're gonna mistake. fix it. So let's go ahead and purl. You guys go ahead, carry on with your work, and then join us back here and I'm gonna show you how to drop down and fix mistakes. Okay, that's forward, so there it is. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. It's like trying to parallel park the first time. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Okay, now you said we're gonna what? Good with job. Purple? We're actually going to go back and we're gonna fix that drop stitch. Oh, that's right, with the purple. Mm hmm. Excuse me, I have to get my other. It's all right. Okay, there's the purple. So, what do you want me to do with it? All right, so I'm gonna have you pass me that graph paper. Okay. Do we see our pen anywhere? I know we had it. There's one. Okay. So as you knit, you're essentially working in a graph, okay? If these are your stitches, I'm sorry, I can't write. And these are your rows, okay? So you cast on stitches and then you, you, you knit them. So we turn and we knit them. And then we change hands put our stitch in the other, and we turn and we knit them, we turn and we knit them, and we turn and we knit them. So you're building a big graph like this, okay? You have the rows like this way, you have stitches this way. So as you're working along, you're making these stitches and they're going up, and all these rows are created by your yarn that's either in back or in front, right? It's in back when you knit, it's in front when you purl. So as you come up, here and we have this stitch and it falls it's like it falls off of this row oh no it falls off of that row oh no it falls off of that row oh no oh no oh no oh no these <laughs> i know right these rows here my horizontal lines become ladders okay they become it looks like a run in your pantyhose okay? Oh, okay because that ladder used to be the stitch that was between these two stitches, but now it's just a string joining this stitch and this stitch on either side of the one that fell down. Make sense so far? Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do is on your third stitch in, you know, this one's okay, this one's okay, this one's okay, but this one, we skipped and dropped one somewhere down there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna purposely let this stitch drop off and fall down to where our mistake is, grab it, so we can pick up where our mistake ladder is, because there's only one, I'll show you that in a second, and then we're gonna pick it up and put this back, climb the ladder back up and put it up there. Oh my God. This looks like a big mess right now, but I'm gonna show you what that oh means. My God. Okay, and so you're here. you make me do that or you're gonna do that? I'm gonna have you do it. <clears throat> so if I turn my work here, I can look down here, see how it just looks like a really elongated pearl? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's your ladder, because that's that stitch there it never got knitted. It never was knit. See, that's why it looks elongated right there mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the stitch that should be in there is actually mm -hmm. back here in that ladder. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're going to knit, 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 and this is the, the stitch that we're trying to fix, mm -hmm. but we're fixing it down here on this row where that ladder is. So we're gonna drop this stitch off let it fall down to where we get to that purple. We're gonna get to that purple. We're gonna lose all those stitches. Yeah, I'm gonna have you go down to the purple. We're gonna grab that purple. The reason I'm going all the My way down. Hurts. No, you're good. <laughs> the reason I'm having you drop, the reason I'm having her drop all the way down to the purple is because it's a color change. It's easy to see, okay? You won't lose it. All right. Once you get down there, I want you to grab it and stop it from going anywhere, okay? So go okay, ahead, let let's me, knit first. You know what, I'm not gonna have you change colors. I'm gonna have you stick with the green. You Come up want here. want me to knit yep. like normal. Knit like normal, go ahead and stick with the green. For three stitches, or for three times. Well, what you would do... One that I messed up on. Exactly. You would knit over to where your mistake is in that column of stitches. 
Okay. okay. So there's my mistake. One. So are we sure? Yep, because there yep, it is. It's the right above one. that one. Right there. So we are going to let that one drop off of your left hand needle and we're going to pull it apart. Okay, so that's one. We pull it again. Pull it up. Be careful because we don't want it to go any further than that purple, right? So right there, stop that purple, grab it. On this one? No, with your fingers, oh. like grab it, okay? Stop there. We're gonna use a handy tool. You could use a crochet hook. I love these little things though. It's called, look, it's called a handy tool. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so it's by Susan Bates, but it's on one end, it has a crochet hook, and the other end, it has like a pointy stitch, or a pointy, um, like a knitting needle, right? So we're gonna open these up, open one up and I'm gonna have you use it. Cause what I'm gonna have you do. With what, my teeth? No, <laughs> you're gonna set finger. your work down. You're gonna set it all down. Even the one I'm holding on to? No, we're no. just gonna put the needles down. Okay, and you're gonna take this and stick it into that stitch. Okay, now, if we want these stitches to be knit, because we're looking at stockinette, right? So we want these stitches to all be knit. What that means is we want our ladders to be in back of this stitch that's dropped. Now don't do anything yet. I want you to pull this stitch forward. You see the ladders? I've got four ladders. Okay, you see them all? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. And we had four rows of green, so that makes sense that we would have four ladders. These ladders are what should be that stitch going up. So we've got to make them stitches again. So pay attention to what I'm saying at this point. We have a loop. We're gonna stick our hook through that loop, grab the ladder, one run of the ladder, and pull it up. And pull it up. There you go. There's a new stitch. Grab the next run of the ladder. Make sure it's only the next one. Over the, over the stitch or back? Nope, the purple one's done. It's no longer in play. Okay. You've already fixed it. Whew. So like that? Sure, let's do it. You fix that one now. Oh do, now make sure you only go into the next one. So this is where it's important to kind of make sure you're only into the next run of the ladder. You're splitting your yarn, there you go. Through the stitch, there you go. And one more. And through that stitch, perfect. Now. That stitch has not been knit yet, so we're gonna put it on our left-hand needle. And we don't care how we put it on there because now we know how to read those stitches. Is it on there correctly or is yes, it on there backwards? It's on there correctly, I think it, no, it's not. Okay, no, so we can, forward. we can set this aside. Let's go ahead and knit that through the back leg. Hang on, I can't find my I know, green. sorry. That's okay. There you go. And it's knit just like normal, just knit it through the back leg. And you're good. Holy smoke. You did it. You That'll fixed it. I'll just teach you not to make mistakes. <laughs> it takes too long. So I want you to knit two more and we're going to drop down again. Really? Mm hmm. But I didn't make another mistake. But you need to know how to fix them. <laughs> You see how easy that is, though. I mean, it's That's it's a not it's easy. A, no, it, but it it's a grid. Sense. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Does I mean you you told me I should tell this story. I really had a hard time understanding my knitting, and when I first started to knit, I I wanted to really understand what is a knit, what is a purl, how are they forming? Like I didn't understand, and Mom's like, I don't I don't need to understand, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just tell me what to do. Uh, for me, it was I was a crocheter first, so I was really trying to get the concept, like how am I creating these stitches? And it, in all honesty, it wasn't until I was able to drop stitches and understand how they became new stitch not new stitches but how I could recreate the stitch and then I was like oh that's what I'm doing I'm literally just pulling a loop through a loop through a loop through a loop turn my work and pull loops through those loops I just created that's all knitting is that's crazy you had to understand oh that. I totally did that's like why does water boil I don't know it just does when you well there's other <laughs> things you yeah the up, no there's does. other things I really could care less I just want to do it but for this I just I you could not grasp what I was doing so go ahead and knit one more go forward there you go and now this one we're gonna drop down and I want you to drop down you want me to drop not drop not this no, one finish this, this one, one. So the next stitch, we're gonna drop down, and I want you to drop down to where we're to the second row of purple. Oh, we're gonna go even further. Goodness gracious. No, hold on. You want me to drop down, right? Yeah. I was just trying to pull that. Oh, there sometimes it's easier to grab the yarn from the other side of it. There you go. Okay. 
So even through the purple, even through the purple. Yeah, I want you to go through the purple because I want you to see purple ladders. Sometimes you'll drop a stitch Ooh. on accident One, two, and... three, four, five, six. How far you want to go? Clear down to the purple again? Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, so stop there. So here you are. You, you put your word, you're like, oh my gosh, I dropped a stitch. What do I do? First things first, stop it. Don't let it go anywhere. Oh, that's right. No, right not you, stop oh. it. No. <laughs> I wasn't telling... <laughs> Did you, did you see, ooh. <laughs> no, what I meant was stop the stitch. Like when you see it running down, especially if this were like a cotton or a silk or something, it would want to just zoom on down because nothing, see how this one you had to like force it out. Mm -hmm. Some, some yarns will just have it zoom down. So you want to stop it from going anywhere. Okay. So sometimes you might be, that's why we use our handy Well, tool. no, hold on. Oh. You might be knitting along and you'll notice one of these like way back over here, okay? So you can stop it and grab a stitch marker and just stick it right in there until you can get back to it, okay? So maybe we just stick it in there and we're like, okay, it's not, go I'm splitting the yarn something terrible. You're sitting with me. I know, is that it? <laughs> okay, it's so we so we stop it. So it can't go anywhere from this point, okay? Because we've stopped it. So this is that's the first thing. If you were working along on something and you notice that a stitch has fallen way back here but you're not back there yet, stop it from going any further and stick a stitch marker in it, okay? Do not use a safety pin with the coil at the end because it oh. will it'll thread itself through your yarn and it'll snag your yarn, okay? Mm -hmm. So go and get yourself some stitch markers. If you're at a point like where mom is where you can stop it right now and fix it, stop it and then grab your little handy tool and stick it on your handy tool. Now let's put this here and let's kind of see what we have. You have all these ladders. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be really important that you don't split the yarn as you're going up the ladders. So you want to make sure you grab the bottommost ladder first and pull it through. There you go. Bottommost ladder. You can even turn your hook a little and you split the yarn. Yeah, you can tell I'm not a, a crochet person, huh? That's all right. Whew. Okay, so let me go back in this one mm -hmm. and get there and turn it. So if you kind of like turn it pointing down there you go because like through. the stitch is like a teardrop so like the the tip of your crochet hook is kind of like a teardrop so if you turn it down you won't snag there you go she's on the purple so she's grabbing the purple perfect and it's just one at a time I know <laughs> but you can do this I would be like so totally whoops so totally panicked no nothing to panic about you can do this with cables too oh my gosh come on there you go. Perfect. Did I so you can the take yarn? I think so. Yeah. yeah I did. So just so readjust. Go back. Yeah. There you go. Go in here. Perfect. Go grab that. Mhm. Mm Sometimes people will use pins. Like they would set this on something that they could put a pin into. That and, would probably yeah, be me. And they would pin them in place yeah. so that they could see each ladder. Perfect. Goodness you know. gracious. Each ladder. All right, so we're on the last one. Close. It's, no, you're good. I just, <laughs> oh I, my God. I want them to be able to see what you're doing too. No, you're okay, you're gonna have to hold it the way you need to hold it. If I tighten it up, it helps me be able to grab it. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. There you go. Wow, and two more to go. Holy smokes. Now, while you're doing this, I'm going to talk. If you happen to notice that you get out of order as you're going back up the ladder, best thing to do is to just rip it back out and start again. You have to make sure that you're in order as you're going up the ladder. Now, the handy tool or your crochet hook is really helpful, if, especially if you have to go down several rows. But sometimes, if you come to a mistake that's only one row below and you might not have a crochet hook, you do have your knitting needles. You actually don't need your crochet hook at all to fix a stitch. Does it make it help or make it easier? Absolutely. But I'm going to show mom next how to fix her mistake with just her knitting needles. If she needed to drop down maybe just one row, maybe she notices 
on one row, you come back to a stitch, you're like, oh, that, that stitch should have been a pearl. And I, you know, what do I, I don't wanna have to rip out all these stitches to get back to it. I'm just gonna drop down one, make it a pearl, and then carry on. So I'm gonna show you how to are do that. Are these in the notes in your book? Yes. Good. <laughs> I need to earmark those. Yes, they are. All right, so are you the, on the last one? Yeah. Okay. So it goes over here, right? It goes on your left hand needle because your working yarn is not in it. Remember the first lesson when we talked about your right hand needle always has the working yarn? Okay. Perfect. And what was I doing? Was I knitting? You are knitting. Hold on a minute. Was that stitch on there correctly? No. No. So knit it through the back leg. Perfect. I wouldn't have even thought about that part. Yeah. Perfect. You got it. You did it. So knit this next one and then stop for a second. Gladly. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to pretend that the stitch on the row below this one, or, you know, this stitch right here. This one? This, this next stitch. This one. We're going to pretend that you wanted that to be a pearl. Okay. So rather than rip all of this out and then coming back over to this stitch, we're going to drop that stitch on purpose and make it a pearl. So pull it off. Pull it off. And we're going to undo it just one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oop, you undid it twice. That's all right, though. Uh huh. That's okay. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. So about that. that's all right. You have them on your needle. Perfect. What you've done is absolutely perfect. Okay. So you'll notice that she has the drop stitch on her right hand needle. That's great. I want you to go in, see the ladder, the second ladder, mm -hmm. scoop up that second ladder. Perfect. Just like binding off, I want you to take that, have that stitch, jump that ladder and oh, off. Cool. Yep. You just fixed a stitch with your knitting needle. Okay. Now, so that was a knit. The next stitch, I want you to make it a purl. So pause for a second. When you purl, where is your yarn? Behind. Nope. Your, your yarn is behind when you knit, in front when you purl. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. it would be in front. No, not this oh, yarn. That's so, the tail. Yeah, we don't. Nope, you don't stop for a minute. I can't find we, my yarn. We don't want to deal with this yet because oh. we're just dealing with this this string. Okay? So this so next why'd stitch you ask me? because <laughs> patience, Patty one. Okay. <laughs> so this stitch here, this string, this ladder, mm -hmm. represents the yarn if it were in back or in front. So if we want this stitch here that was dropped to be a pearl. This yarn has to be in front. Like that? Uh huh. So, nope. No. Nope. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to have you take this off of that needle, take it off, and we're going to pop it over here. Now, put your needle in. Okay. Oh, it's all right. So, now you're going to scoop up the yarn. And when I say the yarn, I mean the ladder. And just like before, we're going to have this jump this, but it's easier to grab it from behind. Stop. It's easier to grab it from behind. You can, you can look. Sure it is. I can it look. is. Yeah. I got it. There you go. Perfect. And off. And then off your left hand. Perfect. Now we've done all that with this stitch over here. But remember, our working yarn has to be coming through the stitch for it to be okay to be over here. And it's not. So you would move that back over here to your left hand needle. And you're ready to carry on. And now we've made that knit into a purl. So I'm purling or I'm knitting? So you could purl it if that's what you want it to be. We just wanted to make it a purl. Well, you know, I am consistent. I'm consistently you wrong. You're good. <laughs> when you're I good. make a mistake, I make more than one. You're good. So now you're purling to the end of the row. Just because we can. Whoa. So mom's dropped down to the purple. and Now she's sticking that onto her needle. This time I didn't have her do it to where she went down to where she pulled one stitch and put it back on. I had her pull them all the way out and just grab the stitches and stick them on. Because I know you guys, <laughs> this is what you're going to do. You're not going to take the time to sit there and pull out one stitch at a time. You just want to yank it out and stick it back on your needle. How come I have a, pardon me, how much I, I have a green stitch over here? Because you didn't pull that last stitch out. So okay. you'll have to pull it out. And okay. there, there it is. And there's my, there right there? Yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> that little one right there. there that I can't see don't don't, 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 don't make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. We did it. Is this? Is oh, this, did you just drop it? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Say, is this desperate for you? No, I'm it's gonna like, have oh you. No, I'm gonna have you change colors because we've used this yarn so much that you've 
it's not just you. It's just the nature of yes, yarn when she used it. She said you have ruined the yarn. No, it's That's not what I didn't say. You ruined. Were going, were no, you it's just hmm. you split it enough. Okay, <laughs> so let's kind of refresh ourselves with the changing colors. We're just going to tie our new color right on. Yes, it has sparkle. Sorry, you got to deal with it. There it is, and we're going to push it right up. So you're going to use you white. That? Deal with deal it. With it. Deal, deal with it. Deal with it. I like sparkle. You can tell, right? I like sparkle. Mm -hmm. She's not a sparkle fan. No. Okay. Okay, there's my working yarn. Here's my needle. And I'm Okay. I'm looking at knits. Uh-huh. So I'm going to knit. So you're going to knit. There I go, knitting with the sparkle yarn. Yes. Woohoo. I want you to knit, yeah? Knit. Continue knitting. Sort of. Keep going. You don't want me to knit? Just I want to keep you in suspense. <laughs> knit one more. <laughs> one more. Let's knit one more. Good job. Are you paying attention to if the stitches are twisted or not? No. And what did I do there? I think you split the yarn. I think I did too. Yeah. So I don't even know where that goes there it goes back on there okay. good catch pardon me but look at that <laughs> <laughs> whoop there it is oh, no. Oh, no. hang on hang on hang on i got it i got it i got this boom boom there it is <laughs> how rude you are look at this what happened okay i love that you didn't even have a reaction until you saw it Okay, this next stitch. I'm not listening to you okay. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> we're going to drop this next stitch off. You and your dog. Let, I know. We're going to drop it off, let it go four rows, and then we're oh. going to make them pearls. One. Hang on. Hang on. This, this messing up is harder than you think. One, two, three, four. Okay, so stop. There's the one I need to hold on Perfect. to. Perfect. And we're gonna make these stitches pearls. Okay. I already forgot how to do that. All right, so that's fine. So right now, those are our ladders. And mm -hmm. those ladders are all in back of our stitch because when we knit, our yarn is in back of our stitch. Okay. If we need those ladders to come in front of our stitch because we wanna make this a pearl, we actually wanna move our stitch behind the ladders. So hold on a minute. Nope, 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 you aren't gonna grab a ladder. We're gonna grab a ladder from behind. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. Okay. It's hard, it's hard. You're going to grab the ladder from back here and we're gonna pull it over here, okay? So now my ladder's back there, my, or not my ladder, my stitch is back here, my ladders are up here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna grab a ladder. Oh, you split your yarn. And pull it through. Aren't you funny? <laughs> grab your ladder and pull it through. But I'm doing it all on the opposite side because I want these to be pearls, right? Oh Grab my ladder. God. Yes. Here's the quick note. You need to know how to do this because if you're dropping down in a pattern stitch that happens to be like maybe it's a knit, knit, pearl, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, pearl, you have to know how to make them knits and pearls, knits and pearls. But if it was something like this, if it were mine, if I had an entire row that needed to be pearls, yeah, those look great. But at the same time, if I'm smart and I can, if I'm not at the end of the day and really worried about my brain capacity to really understand what I'm doing, I will turn my work, remembering that I've turned my work, and pick those up as if to knit. Because what is the backside of a knit? Pearl. So if I were to pick those up as if to knit, so my stitch is here and I pick the ladders up, see how they're knits on this side? Mm -hmm. So when I turn my work back over on the side I want, I'm looking at my pearls that I wanted. Does that make sense? Okay, one more time. I, I heard you, but it went okay. right over my head. We're gonna do this again. It's all right. I'm gonna take these off. And here's where we started. Okay, we started right here. Right. I want these to be pearls. Okay, so what I did was I put this over on, I put my stitch on that side, right? I put my mm -hmm. stitch over there. Okay. So that my ladders were up here. Right. Because my ladders represent, represent the string the yarn as we were knitting and purling, our pearls were over here. So if they were over there and I have my hook back here, I can come and grab my bottommost ladder. So you come in front of the ladder. 
yeah for me it, I grab it, it and then I pull it back to the stitch and then pull it through the stitch but at the same time if I were to turn my work see how my ladders are in by, behind my stitch right because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's easier to pick them up this way right oh totally so I just turn my oh, work I would just do that yes that's what I do and then mm -hmm. I'd get up here and then I would turn back around. to where I was right and put it on and put it oh, on totally I would totally do that right but you need to know how to do that because because <laughs> I said so <laughs> I don't need to know how to do that because no. I'll just do that way right so if we made those we made those pearls like we wanted them to be and now we're we got it it's like if you can't make a right hand I know. Turn, you just keep making lefts <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> you laugh. There are people that have a hard time with okay. that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny. <laughs> what you need to remember, though, is... So we've been working with stockinette this whole time. If you're working with garter stitch, even though you've been knitting every row, remember that garter stitch is... It's a knit and a purl, a knit and a purl, a knit and a purl. So each one of those, if we wanted to make those stitches garter stitch, I know, it's important to tell you this now. This isn't anything you have to remember immediately. But if we wanted to make all of that garter stitch, we actually would have to make the first one purl. So I have my... It would be no easy way to do it. No. You have to do it the hard yes. way. Yes. So I have it over here. My stitch on the opposite side. I'm grabbing my yarn. Sometimes even grabbing over. I just get it. Just to get it. Ooh, I pull it up. Okay. So now I have to move that stitch to the front, right? Because I have to move those oh my goodness. back. Oh my goodness. I know it's tedious. And I have to pull that through. Okay. Now the next one has to be a pearl. Remember, because we're doing garter stitch. And this is the way garter stitch is made. So I have to make this a pearl. And then this next one would have to be a knit. So I have to move my ladder. So just like we move our yarn to the front or to the back, you have to move your ladders to the front or to the back. So now I made that drop stitch garter stitch. I know, I know it's a whole lot. I know it's a whole lot, okay? I know this isn't anything you're gonna remember permanently, but now you've seen it, okay? So when you do this, just go to the video that says, oops. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Marley's mom, yeah. oops, oops. Yeah, but I mean, does that make sense? No, I get I get that, yeah. But okay. I was just thinking that's no easy way to do that one. Exactly. That one. You have to do it. Exactly, so. and that's why I show you, you ask me why. So we need to go get these. Yeah, the for handy sure. tool. Yeah, I'll put sure. a link. I'll put a link in the video notes. For sure, they're cool. They're really handy. Three or four of these. Yeah, have one in every bag. But you could use a crochet hook too. You could totally use a crochet I hook. I won't have any. Okay, things. all right. So you know how to fix mistakes. Like those are the most common ones. Yeah. Are you gonna have my homework fixing mistakes? No. Oh good. No, no, no. Good. Um, You're not diabolical. <laughs> after no, not all. at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do want to say a couple things. If you have a stitch that drops all the way down to the cast on row. There's not a really big, so you know your very first oh, row. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's that's hard. Um, you're almost better off just restarting. Okay. Even I I know you can fix it, but I'm just going to tell you it's just easier if you just drop all the way down. Okay. I can see that. Um, if it's a couple stitches, like if you notice maybe on the row below or two rows below, sometimes it's easier just to use your knitting needles. You remember how you put that on your right hand needle and you scooped mm -hmm. um, versus getting your handy tool. It's also important to know how to do that with your knitting needles because sometimes you won't have a handy tool, but you always have your needles there so you can fix it. Having said that, sometimes when I fix my stitches with my knitting needles, they aren't near necessarily as tight or as snug as they were if mm -hmm. I use my crochet hook, mm -hmm. um, but they're still okay. Like in the at the end of the day, your work will start to shift and all the stitches will fall into place. That's part of what the, the blocking and washing does. So it's does. legit. Even after you've been doing this a long time, you're going to drop stitches. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I mean, more often than not, I'll find that I messed up a stitch several rows below or something. I'm like, oh, I just want to go fix that. So I'll drop down and fix it. And to pick it back up. It's better than ripping out and you know starting all over. Um, the the last thing I want to tell you about, and we could do it, but um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's called a lifeline, and that's something I really want to pay more attention to uh, when we do the lace section. But a lifeline is where you literally would take like dental floss 
and weave it through all the stitches that are live on your needle and carry on knitting. But then you have a point in your knitting that you could always rip back to because once your yarn is pulled out to that dental floss, it's not gonna let the stitches fall anymore because you've stopped it. So it's a way to put a lifeline in your work so that you know, okay, everything up to this point is perfect. I'm gonna put a lifeline in. Then you work up a little more, everything up here is perfect. I'm gonna put a new lifeline in. So you create lifelines for yourself as you're working along. And that's usually on big lace type projects and stuff. So that, cause once you start dropping stitches that have yarn overs and whatnot, it's a whole new ball game. Cause you have stitches that will disappear cause they were created by increasing stitches. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a whole nother video, <laughs> but it's possible. Does it make sense, the idea of your stitches being on a grid? Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's mm -hmm. what it is, mm -hmm. they're just on a grid. Yeah. You're, so you're, you go to the row, the column that the stitch needs to be fixed, drop it down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you climb the rows back up. Climb the ladder, yeah. Yep, climb the ladder and you yeah. fix those mistakes. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I'll probably just have to go back and look at notes or watch the video to know if I'm going in or out. Right. You know, right. And, and you know what, you know what was the aha moment for me was the fact that the reason I see knits one way and pearls another is because I'm, I'm literally turning my work whenever I'm, I'm exactly. And I was like, okay, well now I get it. Yeah. So what's four days later? That's I all right. Get it. I will tell you, you already look like you're more smooth. Like really? you're, yeah. You're I mean, you're still not, <laughs> now listen, you're not like x lock smooth, but <laughs> you're like not chunky monkey anymore, you know? You're just like that in between, no. So I'm like a D minus? A D minus, like grade wise? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you're absolutely, you're rocking a B minus. Oh. Rocking it. Whoa. Not at all. No, you're doing great, mom. You're doing great. Okay. Um, tech technically wise, you're doing fantastic. The biggest, um, Concerns I have for you are still pulling the stitch up at the very beginning. Yes. Um, I want you to be conscientious of that. I want you to find a better rhythm with holding the, the yarn with your hands. Okay. And I want you to be confident that you can read your knitting. Don't sit there and try and analyze, this is what I did, so here's what I'm gonna do. That's exactly, yeah. that's what I was Stop. doing wrong. Yeah. Stop, I, was, I want you to look at look your knitting. What you did. Yeah. I mean, you're doing great. Quite you honestly, mom. Knit, you knit. If you, you see, see knit, pearl, you pearl. You pearl. Right. Because you've turned your work. Right. Right. So now you have learned how to fix mistakes. Some of the most common mistakes, along with my mom, that should enable you to be able to work even more on your swatches and have the confidence to know, okay, if I rip this out, all I have to do is put my needles back in, check and make sure that the stitches are resting on your needle correctly. Remember, it's the leg that's forward is the one that wants to be knit. Mm -hmm. So if the back leg is the one that's forward, go ahead and knit it through the back leg and that's gonna fix it, okay? Um, for those of you who are ready to move on, we are going to learn how to do some increases next. So that's what I'm gonna have mom do. We're going to learn how to do the knit front and back increase and the yarn over increase. So without further ado, that's where we will jump into in the next video. Until then, I'm Marley Bird. And I'm Marley's mom. And we hope you're really enjoying these videos. Um, yeah, there you go. Send me your mistakes so I can see what you did do. <laughs> I'll feel a whole lot better, okay? <laughs> please, please be sure to leave comments because we really enjoy reading them. And don't forget to smash that like button. Bye guys. <laughs>